Hello everyone, very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica and here is my Instagram. Feel free to follow me there as well. I'm super happy you're here and today I am going to do, or I have done, one palette to looks <laughs> with this palette. This is from 5050 Makeup and it's a Dutch indie brand. And this is how the palette looks like. Um, I already have a first impression up on my channel, so I will leave it up here <laughs> and down below if you want to watch that because then I swatched this palette. But this is the Autumn palette and this is so cute. This is so grungy and dark and I really like it. When they came up with this palette I was really like interested in getting this and I wanted to try 50-50 makeup because I have heard a lot of people talk about them but mostly Nikki Raven and she also have a code so I will leave her channel down below. I think it's Nikki 10. Then you get 10% off. But anyways guys this is how the palette looks like if you didn't uh, no, this is a nine pen palette. It's shimmers. It's mattes and I have done two looks. I am super excited The thing about 50-50 makeup it's they are giving 50% of their profit to charity So that's super nice. I mean, that's that's amazing actually So you can choose your own charity or you can choose from a different kind of charities. I think um when you are checking out and when you buy stuff from their uh, website so i think that's super cool actually but anyways guys uh i'm going to talk a little bit about this palette as well if you want to jump ahead to the looks um i will try to leave timestamps but if i forget i'm sorry but let me talk about this palette because now i've used all the shades i really wanted to use all the shades in this palette when it comes to my first impression and these two looks so and i've done that and i I think they perform really nice. Uh, the mattes are a little bit creamy. I don't know if that is the right word, but they are not like typical mattes, but they are very easy to blend. I didn't have any issue at all with these looks and the shimmers are super nice. I think this is uh, like a duochrome. Uh, I hope you can see, maybe you can, but it is. it feels like it is like a... I don't know what the base is actually, if it's like an orangey brown or something, maybe not, <laughs> uh, but <laughs> it's shifting like in teal or something, I'm worse describing colors, but I love this one. This has more like, I think this one is more foiled and blinding than these three, but so I don't know if they are in the same formula 100%, but I, I'm, I'm really drawn to this color. But all these shades really perform really nice, so I can say I have nothing to complain about when it comes to the quality. And this is, as I said, the color story. And I don't mind that it's not an inner corner highlight here because, as I did today, I put another, I took another palette and just put something in my inner corner if I want something light in my inner corner. Or you can take a highlighter. I don't mind that. I mean, I love this color story. I really enjoy this palette and it's very, very cute. I mean, <laughs> it's very grungy. And I have done like, this is quite dark and my first impression was very dark, but I have one look here that it's not that dark actually so yeah uh i'm on my little pony look at this i am obsessed with my little pony <laughs> the retro ones so i bought this t-shirt and i just thought it was so cool but anyways guys uh let me just yeah am i done i have i have talked too much i've talked too much uh let's just go into this video and let's go to look number one <laughs> So now I'm going to do the first look with the Autumn palette from 5050 Makeup and I need to use this color because this is so so stunning and I want to use this pumpkin spice as well as poison and blue let me see blood moon <laughs> blood moon so yeah that's my plan anyway and I am going to do a halo eye so I think I'm going to start with this poison shade here and I'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to place this here in the middle because I want this shade in the middle in the crease and I also want the red the blood moon to be in the outer part and inner part of my crease so I'm just placing this here 
and blend it out. Now I'm going to take this Blood Moon and this is going in the outer portion here and in the inner portion on my crease. I'm blending these together a little bit here, but they blend really nice. So I think something like this. So now I'm going in with the shimmers and I'm going to, I'm not going to use a glitter glue, glitter glue today. I am just going to spray it with my setting spray as I always do. So I'm going to take this pumpkin spice in my inner and outer part. And in the middle, I'm going to take this Maise, Maise, this one. So I'm going to start with this pumpkin spice. This is a really pretty color. It is like a orangey copper. And now I'm taking this gold or yellowish gold. Oh my god, this is so pretty. This shade. Look at that. This is really pretty. So I'm placing it here in the middle. And I'm just blending it in to this pumpkin spice. So I think something like this. Now we're going to do the lower lash line. I'm going to take this Blood Moon again and we are going to place that like here in the outer part of my lower lash line and in the inner part here. We're going to do kind of the same as we did uh, on the crease. Something like that. And then we're going in with this poison. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm dropping this palette. Oh. Uh, poison. And we are going to place it like here in the middle. But we're also going to take that beautiful gold in the middle and I'm going to take a small brush we're going in with this Maize, Maize, I have no idea how to pronounce this shade guys oh I'm going to place it, I've sprayed it and I'm going to place it here in the center I really like this shade this is my favorite one that is cool and I'm also going to take a little bit of this Blood Moon and just gonna wrap this together a little bit so they meet and they blend a little bit here. Alright guys, I think this is the finished look. I'm gonna put something, oh my god, put something in my waterline and some lashes, mascara, something on my lips and I'll be back with the finished look guys. As I said, this is the finished look. I put something in my waterline. I put this one. This is um, Italian brown. This is Vicon. And this is a long lasting eyeliner in amber. It's kind of a gold. I don't know if you can see. But it is like a... Not orangey gold. But yeah. Kind of a gold. And on my lips, I put this one. <laughs> this is my all time favorite liquid lipstick. This is from I Heart Revolution. The Tasty Peach. Uh, liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Melba like a burnt orange I love that and I love this eye look oh my god this is like very very autumn <laughs> pumpkin I don't know I just get these vibes and I think that is fun with this palette because if you look at this maybe you think a little bit grungy but I think this is more like a typical autumn color and color scheme because you have this gold, you have this coppery orange, you have some reds and browns and this like dirty 
greenish brown and yeah I really like this and the uh, shadows I used today perform really nice this is super foil and super blinding this is not as blinding as this one but I am really in love with this shade <laughs> and they blend really nice uh, very easy to use so this was look number one and let's go into look number two now we're gonna do the second look with this palette and as I said, I want to use all the shades in this palette with these three looks. I have this one palette two looks and I have a first impression. So I'm going to use, oh my God, I'm going to, I'm going to do like a reddish crease and do it quite dramatic, I think, because I want to deepen up maybe with the black or the dark brown. And I'm also want to use more of this because I used this in my first impression, but it was just a little bit. So I want to use this one on my lid and I want to use this decay on my lid as well. But I'm going to start with this blue blood moon, <laughs> not blue moon, <laughs> blood moon. And I'm going to start with the fluffy brush first and kind of build it up a little bit here. And then we are going to intensify this even more. I think this is a nice red. It's not like super red. Well, it is a red. Uh, it's not like fiery tomato red. It's more like a grungy red. More like a coppery red, brownish red, if you know, if you know what I mean. I am not good at describing colors, I think. Okay, so this is super pigmented, but it's very easy to blend, so I'm just blending it like this, and I'm also going to layer this even more with a smaller brush. And now I'm taking a smaller brush and now I'm gonna like pack this color in my actual crease and then blend it out a little bit just to get a lot of intensity with this color and yeah, just make it very red. So maybe I want something like this and let me see. Now we're going in, I think I'm going in straight, uh, maybe, no, I'm going with this Hello E. So I'm going to start with this one and then maybe I'm going to take the black. So I'm going to start to pack this here in my outer part of my, like my outer V. And just start to dip this up just a little bit here but I don't want to lose this red so I don't want to go like far in I just want to put it here and then blend it a little bit like that these blends are really really nice it's very easy to <laughs> blend them so far and yeah, I think I like how this looks. Um, I'm gonna add a little more of this red and I'm just taking the same brush as I had with this Hello Eve, Hello's Eve. I'm gonna... Do I wanna go in with the black? This is quite dramatic actually. Maybe it's enough. Hmm. Not sure. Maybe I'm gonna take the black later on. Now I'm gonna cut my lid. I think I'm gonna cut my lid with some NYX <laughs> glitter primer. So these shimmers have something to stick with and also like cut the crease here. So... Maybe I'm going to take the same brush actually. What are we going to do? I think I'm going to have this decay in the outer part and this gourd, <laughs> this green in my inner part. So I'm going to start with this decay. This is a really cool shadow because this is a duochrome. So 
it really shifts how you turn your head. I hope you can see this it's kind of a teal color, I would say. I'm gonna have it here. A little bit like a diagonal. I'm gonna flip my brush and going to pick up this green shadow and because green looks nice to red I think because they are the uh, complementary colors so I really love to do that. Ooh, this was pretty and then I'm just gonna Maybe just tap it like that. Is this how I want it? Maybe. I'm gonna take a little more of this decay. I really like that color. So maybe I'm going in with a little bit more of that on the lid because I really like how that looks. Let's do the other eye. So something like this. I really like how this decay looks uh, with this red. Mm, hmm. What are we going to do now? Are we going to like do a little bit of black here? No, I'm going to take this Hell's Eve. This is in a dark brown. I'm just going to stamp it a little bit here in the RV again. Just to open that up a little bit. So we're going to do the lower lash line now. I'm just going to grab a brush. <laughs> I am going to, well, going. I'm going in with this um, Blood Moon again. I'm gonna have that on my lower. I'm just gonna smoke it out a little bit and then we're going in with that Hell's Eve and that is the dark brown so and that is just going very close here to my lower lash line so are we going to I like that shade decay so why not just grab a small brush you see here we have a tiny <laughs> tiny brush here <laughs> and I'm gonna take this decay now but now I am going to spray it with some fixing spray and I'm going to place it like underneath here. Just all the way on my lash line. That's pretty cool actually. This is a very dark and grungy look I'm doing today. Maybe I need something like in my inner corner. I need to get um, like an inner corner highlight shade. So I don't have anything light enough in this palette that I want to use. I'm just going to grab my Mayali Beauty Yaya palette and I'm going to use this shade in my inner corner because I want something a bit lighter but also green so I'm just gonna pop this one I think I'm just gonna put some liner mascara something on my waterline something on my lips and I'll be back with the finished look guys something on my lips uh, let me see here <laughs> it's these two right here so these are both from H&M this is the lip liner and this the lip definer and this is in the shade cayenne and this is their cream lipsticks this is in the shade ferrum brick as you can see a little bit of burnt orangey red love that one and in my waterline I took this one from Kiko Milano and this is the intense color long-lasting eyeliner and this is in the shade Number seven, is it? You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it down below because I know it has a name. 
but I can't see it. <laughs> but it's a green anyway. So yeah, let's um, let's talk about this eye look. I really like this. I really like you know the grungy green and this like uh, decay color against this red. And yeah, I'm I'm here for it. I love it. <laughs> so now you're seeing the two looks with this palette, and I really hope you enjoy them and. If you did, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here as a subscriber. Just click on the subscribe button down below and also click on that notification bell because then you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And I always upload Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. So I really hope I see you in my next one. Take care guys. Bye.